a welcome back. We had a request coming where someone had like a shop layout and they wanted to have a carousel at the top which moves between the different categories that are available within the shop. So this video is about how do we do that and that's what we're going to do right now. So this is a, an example website where we've got a shop. Do not buy anything. I will not honor any purchases. This is just a website I use for training and tutorials. What's very important though, when we come to do a category carousel is make sure you have got categories. If you do it without having categories assigned to your products, it ain't gonna work. So make sure you've got that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to pages and we're gonna create a new page. And I'm gonna call this one hoodies. Okay, because that's what we're doing at the moment. If you have t-shirts, you do t-shirts. If you have posters, you do posters and all of that, okay? While that's opening, we're going to go back over to our shop template. And I'm just going to copy over the look of it at the moment. In fact, I'm going to get rid of the title there. Go down to settings, uh, hide the title. We don't want that. Go back to shop. So I'm, I've taken over the, the heading, how it looked. And I'm also copying over the basically the section that contained the products widget. Not the archive products, the products widget. And you'll you'll see why we need to use the product one. So now we're over here. I'm just gonna change this to say hoodies. You would change it for each of your pages. Um, remember, because we're doing a completely different page, the hoodies page could have a different color scheme. I wouldn't do a different color scheme, but it could have a different look. So you could shrink the columns and have another column over here maybe where you've got um, someone in view wearing a hoodie, someone in view, someone wearing hoodies. If you've got someone, you know, maybe got posters stuck on a wall, someone admiring their new clothes or their car or whatever you want. So there's ways of how you can make the page more bespoke to the product, videos, things like that. You know, you want to really want to sell it or get it over to them. So we've got hoodies. Now we're going to click on the product query. You will not get that in the archive widget, archive products. You've got to use the products widget, okay? We go over here. I'm going to change current query to be latest products. Uh, include by, you'll get the word term. Click term. And now here's where I'm going to type in the category. So in hoodies, if I type in who, hoodies appears. If I typed in posters, posters, t-shirts, you know, uh, albums, whatever are your categories. That's why it's important to have your categories set up, okay? So now we've done that, we can publish it. Okay, in effect, that page is now kind of done. And I know what the address of it is. It's basically gonna be our web address with the with backslash hoodies. Okay, now we're gonna go and create a template. So I'm gonna do add new, and all I'm actually gonna do is create an image for the template, okay? That, that's all it's gonna be. And to be honest, there, there are many ways that you could do this whereby we don't even have to do what I'm doing here, but I'm just showing you one of the ways I like to do it. So I'm just gonna create a section template and I'm gonna call this hoodies image, okay? Just so you know what you're doing, create template, okay? Uh, we're not using any of the, uh, temp the examples they give us. We're creating one complete from scratch. This is, there is nothing majorly fantastical about this, okay? It's just gonna be one section and we're gonna drop into here a image like so, okay? Just an image like that. And I'm now going to pick a image that I've already built in Canva. Uh, by the way, this was done in Canva, this image, where you used a circular frame to get the circle. You drop an image in, it automatically fills the circle, not outside the circle, it goes into the circle. And then I added in a semicircle down here. And then I just added in some wording, okay? And I made the, the semicircle to be a little bit uh, transparent, just so you could see it a little bit there. So you have a play around with how you want to do it. You don't have to do this. You could just have words, image, however you want to do it. So I've got this image and I'm now just going to insert that, that image there. Now that image is going to link. I'm just going to make it a full. In fact, I'm going to make it full and I'm just going to make this be about 200 pixels. I think 200 will be fine. In fact, yeah, 200 pixels. Okay, you play around with it and go with what you want. The key bit is though the link. So this image is going to link to something. So I'm going to go to custom URL and I could, if I want, either paste it or just type hoodies and it's going to go to the hoodies page. Remember that page has already got our shop, but it's been categorized down to, not categorized down, but it's got the hoodies. Yeah, it has, it's got the hoodies query. What am I saying? 
you will probably notice there's going to be a bit of a problem here, and I'll come back to that problem in a moment. Okay, I'll, let me just let's just do this bit. You then publish that. That template is now ready for you to use in your shop page or anywhere else you want. Because at the moment, this when you click it, it will take you to the hoodies page. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back out of this. So we're back in our template section. Okay. Let's just refresh that. Uh, and there we go, hoodies image. I'm now going to take that short code over there. Okay, so just take the short code. That's all you got to do. We're now going to go back to our shop template. We're going to hit a plus sign, and I'm now going to create a section. I'm not spending time on the margins or paddings here. Okay, you will fine tune it to suit uh, what you want it to look like. I'm going to now type in carousel, and we're going for the testimonial carousel. A lot of people go for slides, image, media. The testimonial carousel works so much better for you because you can do so much more with it. We're going to drop that in and I'm now going to get rid of the items we have in there. Only have item one. Now, normally when you do a testimonial carousel, you just dump the short code into here and away you go. But when it comes to the shop page, because it's a product archives template, if you do that, you're just going to see this code even when you go live. So keep hold of your code. But instead of like pasting it in there, just make sure there's nothing in here. And when you click out and click on content, you'll see the dynamic tags appear. Click on dynamic tags and scroll down until you see the word short code. Click short code, then click the spanner or the wrench and now drop it. It's a bit weird because if you were to do this on a page, it would work totally fine. You'd have no issues whatsoever. But in the shop page, you've got to do it this way, which it confused me at first. But anyway, look, you do that and you hit update. I'm now going to make a copy of this like multi whoops, multiple times like that. Because, you know, um, if you had loads, loads of um, products or categories, hoodies, T-shirts, posters, you know, loads, loads of stuff, whatever you've got. OK, what you do is you create a page. For T-shirts and you, you put your products in in your category. You know, when you do the query, so it's now only got posters. You then create a template over here for posters image. The short code for that, you would then stick into, uh, where are we? Right, right, wrong page. Here we go, shop. You would then stick into here. So let's say item two was now going to be the posters. You would do short code, yeah? And then you click the spanner wrench and you drop it into there. OK, should be OK there. Uh, we'll very quickly just do some stuff. So slides per view, we'll leave it as four. What about five? Five's too small. Let's go with four. Uh, it'll, it'll scroll at one slide. Um, and the additional options is uh, I'm not going to have dots. I'm just going to leave it to be the arrows. And I've stylized it to be purple arrows there. That's where you go to style, go down to navigation, and you would do that there. OK, cool. So now if we update that, update, 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 update. update. If we now preview this, can you see what we have here? And I'm just going to move myself down a little bit out of the way here. OK, we now have a carousel. It's not kind of moving at the moment, is it? I don't know why. I think that's because I was hovering over it. In fact, no, I know why it's not moving. I'm just going to log out so that you'll No, Let's look at it. In, no, there you go. Look, it's moving now. It's because I was hovering over it. Sometimes you've got to go to private window for it to work properly. Um, let me just move myself here. OK, there you go. So you can have hoodies, T-shirts, posters, whatever you want, and it will move. Obviously, in slides, you can set it to be quicker, slower, however you want. And if I now click on hoodies, OK, this will take me to the hoodies page. Hoodies. Now, here's the bit I mentioned where you've got to have to think a little bit. We are missing the carousel here, but remember, if I just go back a step to the shop, once you've done it for the shop page, so you've got all of your images and you've got everything done, you would then copy this section. OK, in fact, let's do it. OK, let's just do it so that you know I'm not pretending to you or lying. Right. Let's now just copy this section. OK, let's go over to our pages. Pretty standard stuff, isn't it? Let's just hit the plus sign and you paste it in. OK, you then hit update because that's what it's meant to do. So we've come over to the shop and every five seconds, it's going to kind of move one slide at a time as we expected. Now I'll click on hoodies. It's going to take me to the hoodies page. And we now again, we're on the hoodies page, but we now have the carousel again at the top. 
So this is like a pretty cool snazzy way in my opinion of doing it without using any other additional product um, plugins, not product plugins, carousel plugins that are built for WooCommerce and all of that. It's fine if you want to use one of them and then you tinker with it, but this right is so simple to do. If you've got 20 categories, you'll have 20 pages. Um, you'll create 20 images and then you stick the short code in. The great thing, obviously, is that now that you have a hoodies page, you could have like a link down here underneath the shop. So it might be like hoodies. This one won't work because that page is pointing to another test page, but you click it and it would bring you to the hoodies page. So, you know, play around, have a, you know, there, there are many ways you can do this, but this is the way I do it because it's, I feel it's very simple and easy to do. I've gone for circles. You could go for whatever style you want to do. Look, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I hope this helps you out. You take care.